All right, is she the a-hole for moving on with a new guy after her husband cheated? All right, let's break this one down. You got something going on in your life. Hit us up at theburtshow.com so uh, we can read it. Dear Burt Show, hopefully you can help me with my enormous problem uh, and guilt. In September of 2020, I found out my husband had been cheating on me with a younger coworker, stick figures with boobs, while I was busy working <laughs> in a COVID-19 unit. Uh, of course, I was heartbroken. We'd been together 23 years. We have two beautiful kids. Mm. I tried hard to get over it and move forward for the sake of our family, but he continued to go to work events with this woman, and I never received the confirmation that I asked for that it was truly over. So in counseling, he acted like I deserved it because I'd gained some weight and was depressed from losing my father. This has come up a lot this week, hasn't it? The whole weight issue? Yeah, it has. Dude's like using that as a reason to divorce or cheat. Uh, I worried myself sick tracking him and thinking the worst until I decided I couldn't do that to myself anymore. On the verge of a nervous breakdown, I told him, that's it. We're separated. F who you want and so will I. We are now nothing but roommates and co-parents. So months go by and I connect with an old high school friend, not an old boyfriend, my text as friends, but or we text as friends, but I didn't go out with them until after I officially asked for a divorce. I kept looking for a spark with my husband, but nada. The man didn't even try to hold my hand. And after eight months of just texting, the friend and I met and fell hard for each other. Uh, best physical things that she's going through in her life. I'm trying to be sensitive here. A uh, good man, professional, and he sees a future with me. After finding out about the new guy, now the husband suddenly will do anything to get me back. Shocker. Offering me trips, a new house, a wedding, and keeping my family together. Problem is, after what he put me through, I'm not attracted to him anymore. And I'm in love with someone else. The kids, now teenagers, want me back with their dad despite the fact that he cheated on me and they think I'm destroying their lives and am just as bad as he is. Am I the a-hole for not giving him another chance? My new man is amazing and I don't want to lose him, but I don't want my kids to hate me either. one 855 bird show Don't do it, girl. Got to live your life for you sometimes. Yep. Don't do it, girl. Yeah. I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to make everybody happy. Kids are angry. Now they're putting it on her instead of him. If if she didn't love this guy, I, what's the what's the question here? This anybody that I know that stayed in their marriage for the kids got divorced as soon as the kids were out of the house, mm-hmm. and they lived miserably for five years kids or six are, years. Are adaptable. They'll get over it. Yeah, like, they will get over it. And I think like you being miserable with somebody. Um, and sacrificing that shows them more negative aspects of a relationship than it does positive. Like you living your life as you're supposed to, that's what they need to see. And they always start acting right and doing all of the things you've always wanted them to do the minute they see someone else willing to do it for you. Right? So little, too little, too late. Keep going. It's a trap, Mo. Yep. It's a trap. First thing I would do is kick his ass out the house. Because mm-hmm. right now, everybody's still together. It's, that's confusing. That's emotionally confusing for the kids, right? They may not know what the arrangement is. Um, but that's confusing for them. If you guys are divorced and you can afford it, get them out of the house. Here's Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, good morning. You are part, you're part of the Burt Show. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I don't think that the lady is an a-hole mm. whatsoever. Mm. I've been through kind of the same situation, and I moved on, and my kids don't hate me. So I say F him and <laughs> keep going. Thank you for censoring yourself. <laughs> <laughs> did the kids ever have any kind of resentment towards you at all? They did a little bit. They were mad for a little bit, but they got over it once they realized that they're that he was actually an a hole. Yeah, <laughs> and I think too, like you said, you know, having to separate because everything's so confusing right now. If they're under the same roof, mm-hmm. like once that has set in, they're still holding on to this like shred of hope, right? And so I think once everything is said and done, people will be able to move on, kids included. Yeah, there's no need for me to take more calls because they got all the phone lines lit up and they're all saying the same thing, man. Move on and this is not your fault. The Bird Show.